Well, good morning. This is Pastor Keith Hodges, and I want to welcome you today to Every Day Sunday. It is Wednesday morning, and I hope that you've had a great week. And now we're on hump day, right? We're kind of getting over the middle of the week. And I pray that today, as we declare every day, that today is the day the Lord has made, right? This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, this morning, I want to share with you a message entitled, The Relay race, the relay race. Now, I don't know if you've ever ran in a relay race. Uh, if you're like me, you probably never have. Uh, but if you've ever watched a relay race or maybe just when you were in school uh, in PE, uh, maybe y'all ran a relay race and you had to pass the baton uh, to the person that was in front of you. And maybe you were the first, the person beginning the race. Maybe you were the anchor on the team that was finishing the race, or maybe you were somewhere in between. Uh, but as I was reading scripture this morning in Hebrews chapter 12, uh, I read an amazing phrase and the Holy Spirit just quickened something to me uh, and gave me a picture of a relay race uh, that includes our faith in Christ and really our ability uh, to not only finish the race, but to win this race called life and ultimately to win at eternity. So today I want to read to you Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verse 1 and 2. It says, Therefore we also... Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. So there's a race, amen. We have been uh, enlisted in this race called life, and the Bible encourages us to lay aside those things, the weights and the sins of this world that so easily ensnare us and trip us up. And then it goes on to verse two and says this, it says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Looking to Jesus, the Bible says, and then it makes this statement, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. And when I read that statement this morning, I just got this relay race picture in my mind. So think about it. Jesus is the author of our faith. He literally hands the baton of faith to every person. The scripture says that God has given to every man and every woman the measure of faith. And so God is the author of faith. He has initiated it. And God has given the gift of faith to every person, the capacity and the ability to believe in him as Lord and Savior. And so the Bible says God, in the beginning of this great relay race, he's the author of the faith, Jesus is, and he gives the baton of faith to me and you. And then guess what? We get to choose. We get to choose whose hand we're going to place our faith in. Now, we can choose to keep the baton, right? We can choose to keep the baton of faith, and we can trust in ourselves. And many people do that. Many people live a self-made life and they trust themselves and they have this idea that you can't trust anybody else and you surely can't trust God even if there is a God and I've got to trust in myself. And so there are a lot of people that have taken the baton of faith that's been given to them by Jesus, the author of faith, and they've held on to it. And then there are other people uh, who have taken that baton of faith and they have put their faith in, think about it, they put their faith in money, they put their faith in power, they put their faith in their possessions. And they have faith in their money, they have faith in their position, their power, they have faith in their possessions, and they're trusting in the things of this world. And that's where their faith lies. And they have passed the baton of faith that was given to them by God and put that baton of faith into the hand of the world. And they're trusting in their own goodness, they're trusting in their own riches, they're trusting in what their money or their position or their power or their possessions can bring into their life. And the reality is, is there is a world of people, unfortunately, that have put their faith in themselves or taken their faith and put it in the world and the things of this world. But I want you to understand something. Uh, when you take the faith that was given you by God and you put it in anything else other than God, then you have perverted your faith and you have misplaced your faith in something that will never satisfy. Not only will you not finish the race, but you won't win the prize that God has for you. So the only way we can successfully run the relay race is we have to allow Jesus, the author of faith, to give us the gift of faith. 
and then we have to do something. We have to give the baton back, right? When we take the baton of faith and we place it back in the hands of Jesus, who is the not only the author, but is the finisher of our faith, guess what will happen? He will perfect our faith. He will bring to completion every good and every perfect gift that he has for us. And only when we take the baton of faith that's been given to us by God and place it back into the hand of God through Jesus Christ, can we not only finish the race, but can we ultimately win the race? Do you remember what Jesus said? Jesus said, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Why? Because if you take the gift of faith from the author of faith, Jesus, and you put it in anything else other than the one that can finish what he started, then nothing will ever matter. You'll stand before God and he'll say, depart from me, you work of iniquity, because I never knew you. But if we'll take the faith that he's given us and we'll put it back into his hands and say, God, I'm gonna trust you. I'm gonna trust in Jesus, the one who began this work to finish it, the one who gave me faith to be the perfecter of my faith. And I'm gonna trust in him. And if we do that, guess what today? The Bible says you can be saved. You can be born again. And the one who began a good work will complete it. And not only will you cross the finish line, but you'll inherit the prize of eternal life to those who trust in him. Let me just encourage you today. If you put your faith in anything other than Jesus, I wanna challenge you today to reach out to the one that gave you faith and let the author and finisher of faith perfect in you the good thing that God has for your life. God bless you today uh, as we put our faith in him. In Jesus' name.